Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to talk about which program or which program in radiology can you get into, how to get into one the fastest. So this is for 2025, so 2025 radiology tips. So if you are someone who is looking to get into radiology, the best thing to do is to decide whether or not you want to join an associate program for radiology or bachelor's program for radiology. This will help to determine which school is best for you because some schools do offer a two-year degree and then you may have a school that will offer a bachelor's degree. So deciding if you wanted to get an associate's or bachelor's degree will help you decide which program or which college to start with. Another thing is getting into radiology school, it actually starts whenever you're pretty much in high school, getting into college. And I mean, what I mean by that is whenever you're in high school, you have this GPA. Whenever I graduated from high school, my GPA was a 3.8. So as I was going into college, I wanted to keep my GPA up as high as I can so that I can get into the radiology program. So if you do not know, your GPA is very important because sometimes getting into a certain program, they do base it off of your GPA score. So if your GPA score is a 3.2, you may or you may not get accepted over someone whose GPA score is a 2.2. So that's just an example. So I will say whenever you are in school, just taking your prereqs, try try your best to score as high as you can in those classes. If you can make all A's, perfect. If you can't, just try to make a lot of A's and B's so that it can increase your chance of getting chosen. Another thing you have to think about is your HESI exam. Whenever I started my x-ray tech program in 2012, I did not have to take a HESI exam. So I graduated from high school in 2010 and then whenever I got done taking my prereqs, that took about two years. And then when I got accepted into a radiology program in 2012, I did not have to take a test to get in. I just had to have a high GPA score and, you know, have an outstanding um, history, you know, going to class and stuff. But I did not have to take a HESI exam. That is something new that a lot of colleges have added in. So in order to get accepted, sometimes you have to have a high HESI exam score. You may have to have a high GPA score. You may have to have one or the other that's high. Another thing I will say is whenever I did get accepted into my radiology program, I do not know like for a fact, but my GPA was around 3.5, 3.7. Um, even though I graduated from high school with a 3.8, there was a course, which was an easy course that I had took that I made, I think a B or a C in. So it brought my GPA down a little bit. So that's why I say it is important I did get into the program on the first try. I applied one time and I got in right away, but that was because I worked hard leading up to it. I, I kept going to classes. I kept scoring high in my classes. I kept my GPA up high. Another thing you do have to consider whenever you are applying to the radiologic technologies program is sometimes they may call you for an interview. So sometimes whenever you are signing up for x-ray school, not the prereqs, but I you have done your prereqs and you're thinking, okay, for a fact, I know I want to do x-ray because some people take their prereqs for, let's just say for nursing, because that's what I did. At first I took prereqs for nursing, but within a month into my prereqs, I knew it wasn't something I wanted to keep doing. So I switched over to radiology. So let's just say you take your prereqs for a year and a half for nursing and then at the end you decide that you want to switch over to radiology. Most of those classes do or can be used for x-ray as well. I think the only classes is uh, microbiology. I didn't have to take that going into x-ray school. I'm not sure if that is a requirement now. But I did have to, you know, meet with the with the department and they asked me, OK, what what makes you want to join this program? So there may be a lot of interviews being um, 
being taken right now or being had about why do you want to join radiology? Um, whenever you get this degree, what can you do in the field to enhance future students? So those are things that you should be prepared for because if you do get called for an interview to meet with the department people over the radiology program, the last thing you want to do is not know why you join radiology. Of course, you don't want to tell them you join radiology because of the pay. So it's just things like that. You want to just know what you want to say about the program. So other than that, that's all I can say for this video about what to expect when getting accepted into a radiology program this year. Sometimes it can be um, a little competitive, especially if you live in a smaller area. So these are things you need to be prepared for whenever you are um, called back, especially deciding if you want an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree. It does play a role because it it doesn't it it plays a role as far as which route you want to go after you become an x-ray tech which i would do that in a separate video i'll make another video on if you should get an associate's degree or a bachelor's degree in radiology if you all let me know if you would like that video or not but other than that if you have any questions just let me know i did the associate's degree first and then i went back for my bachelor's eventually i had went back for it so other than that that's it for this video if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment box but well, good luck in finding an x-ray tech program bye